Good morning, my name is Heather, and I'm a member of TRM Church, and I'll be reading the devotional for today, Thursday, June 3rd. The devotional for today is entitled, Focus on What's Good, and pulls from Philippians 4, 8, which reads, Think about things that are worthy of praise. The devotional goes on to say, Let's face it, we don't have to look very far to find things to complain about. God placed Adam and Eve in the Garden of Paradise, where they had everything they needed to be happy. But what did they focus on? the one tree they couldn't have. God miraculously divided the Red Sea, guided the Israelites through the wilderness, and provided food from heaven each day so they'd never go hungry. And did they appreciate it? Yes, but for a while. They sang his praise, but soon forgot what he had done. Psalms 106, 12 through 13. This is why Paul writes, Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Then the God of peace will be with you. Philippians 4, 8 through 9. General Robbie Reisner described the seven years he spent as a prisoner of war in a Vietnamese camp as the essence of despair. But he survived. How? He pried the cover off a floor drain in his cell and saw a solitary blade of grass, the only smidge of color in his colorless world. Calling it a blood transfusion for the soul, Reisner began each day in prayer, lying on the floor with his head down the vent, focusing on that single blade of grass. When things aren't going well in your life, you have to choose what you'll focus on, fear or faith despair or hope, problems or solutions. Even the problem, even when the problem isn't solved to your liking, when you focus on God, he lifts you above your circumstances and gives you peace in the midst of them. And let's bow our heads and pray. Lord, thank you for this lesson today. Um, One that just reminds us to be grateful in every situation and that we have the option to choose whether to... um, look and reside in the negative and um, basically just wallow in our own despair. Um, Or we can look to you, um, our light, and um, just look towards um, the good in every situation and the, you know, good possible outcomes that could come from any situation, um, especially when we have you to guide us and to help us. So thank you for this lesson. Thank you for this day. And thank you for all the blessings that you've put into our lives. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.